guys. Uh, you may have missed me a couple of weeks, uh, but uh, I had a, let's say, a YouTube burnout. Didn't make any videos, didn't do much work, um, but I started again. So let's uh, get back on track and uh, do the weekly thing on Friday, every Friday. Um, the thing I'm working on now is uh, I already started, uh, you may have seen on the last video, uh, on the separating toilet. Uh, and that will be located here quite close here, uh, next to the uh, sliding door. Uh, so, with regard to that, I wanted to finish up that step-in area. Uh, I had a few issues on that. So, with the toilet here on top, I had a spare area here where I thought of uh, closing that down and put a small drawer in or whatever and put some, with the ability at least to put some uh, shoes or flip-flops or maybe the leash for Joey in there so it's easily reachable when you get in and out. Uh, but uh, someone uh, beeps, by the way, you know who you are, uh, gave me an idea of uh, closing down the entire step-in area. Uh, and that gives you a solid floor. And that uh, avoids as well uh, stepping into that step-in area at night, for instance, when you get out of bed or whatever. Um, and that intrigued me. However, uh, there are several issues with that too. Uh, it's nice because you can add this as a storage area, extra storage area. But the problem is the step in area is already quite high. And it's only for me, uh, and I'm not that old yet, but uh, it's only in the next couple of years. Uh, it's already difficult to get in, so I always have to use that handle. Um, and that will be only getting worse over the years. Uh, so I thought of making a step stool that I can put out. Uh, and I've had that idea for a long time, but not used that. Uh, but since I would be getting that extra space here in the stepping area, I thought of making it uh, out of separate parts so I can store it here in the stepping area um, and use it whenever I'm uh, parked somewhere, put it outside so I have a step to get into the van easier. Uh, not entirely sure whether it works, but I'll uh, start with it and uh, just test out uh, whether the steps all works, and if not, we'll find another solution. So with the printed forms, I have list some measurements and some indication of what I'm doing. Uh, making this out of hard maple again, it's, uh, since I'm using it outside of the van, uh, it will need lots of maintenance because of rain and the whole situation of the weather, uh, which is not so good. Maybe I'll replace it later with a plastic storeboard, something. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and try this. I took uh, two boards. Uh, the problem is it, I need a 7.5 inch white board, which I don't have. Um, so I'll make them out of two, say about 4 inch wide strips that I glue together. So the first thing that I'll need to do is to join the boards uh, and cut them to rough size. Um, and then playing them. put the wood uh, through the jointer and now I have one flat side and one on the side. I could go on right now and go to the planer and plane them to the right thickness but often there's a lot of stress in the wood so I'll leave them overnight and let the stress uh, dissipate a little bit hopefully uh, and then I'll probably plane them um, uh, and then afterwards I'll join, join two boards together. Now I'm putting uh, two boards together. 
the two flattened sides that I did on the jointer. Okay, now we've got the 8 inch wide board, which I'll have to cut down to about 7.5 inch, but that's uh, the width of the thread of the step stool. So we'll let this dry and then I'll continue this afternoon. <sighs> It has dried a couple of hours now, and that is uh, it looks good. I cleaned up uh, the front. I didn't do the back because that's still rough, and but I uh, there's still some uh, glue that's uh, that is hardened, and I don't want to put that through my jointer or planer, so I'll remove most of that by hand. Okay, I. Put them on both sides through the planer, and now I have a board that is exactly three quarters of an inch wide. got a couple of boards at least edged on one side on the jointer so I've got a flat side on the uh, table saw already cut them to length for at least most of them so now I'll cut the sides up to the exact width that I need Okay, cut all the pieces now together, and that's roughly how it should be looking when it's finished. These are a few pieces that uh, have to keep all the others uh, together. Um, so let's uh, fit it in the in the car. <laughs> hey, <pussy. laughs> okay. That's Joe, he's having fun. Um, I took the boards and this, this is the basic idea. I have this space here and then if I close this floor up, I add to my interior floor and it makes it a little bit safer inside, so that's, that's a good thing. Then this area underneath remains as a sort of storage area 
and I would be able to put these parts of this stem tool in here and then I can take it out uh, oh, let me do it this way and then assemble the stem and put the step outside He's got the best spot uh, in the house. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. You've done a good job.